Hey guys, what's going on? Pig Menace Haterade. We're here. We're back. We're back in hell. How you doing? Little wave there. Rolling with the uh, the F213. God, I love this finder. Fucking love it. With the D class. Um, I did get rid of that F106. Uh, if anybody was wondering, uh, it just kind of didn't fit my style. It wasn't too deep, and um, uh, I could have put depth enhancers on it. I think it was like a tier. Actually, it was a 5.9. Once we're done with it, but uh, I just I just like the Okay, there's a global without sound. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright, a little, a delayed global. How about that? That's fucked up. Well, right off the bat, that's awesome. I knew this hell mine was gonna be hot because I just got done. Oh my god, look at that. Holy crap. Alright, let's get the globals out of the way, I guess. <laughs> Ironstone. Unfortunately, it's at 108%. But, uh, damn. Two. Can I. Oh, I was gonna go for a third there. All right, but yeah, we just got done with a uh, a level five amp. Uh, this is Hellmine Four. It's a, a Hellmine that I kind of peek my head in every once in a while, but I don't particularly mine it very often because there's stuff like iron in here and calderite. And, uh, calderite's not so bad right now. It's like one sixteen, but it, it can be fairly uh, fairly crappy. Um, so I try to avoid this, but the good thing is, is there's NARC, which is, you know, it stays pretty much the same almost. It, it's been floating at about 119%. Oh, and a calderite. Speaking of calderite, there, there it goes. And uh, it has Ignisium in it too, which I have yet to hit today uh, in this dome. Unfortunately, I hit a, a, a sizable Ignisium on a D-Class earlier. It's kind of like, kind of shitty because you kind of expect some a bit bigger than a sizable in hell when you're rolling with a D. But anyway, um, nothing has really been going on, so there's not much to talk about as far as, you know, what's going on in Entropia. Uh, obviously, we had a server restart uh, yesterday, I believe it was, and uh, I think that's due to the influx of new players due to Minarch's uh, marketing campaign through Google AdSense and, you know, other platforms. And uh, they've been having problems with the, the, the uh, PA servers, uh, I guess going offline, or, no, I'm sorry, no, they've been having population errors for new players trying to get into that server. That's what it is. Pop, pop errors, they're called. Um, I know that because a bunch of players have actually posted comments on my videos about that. So hopefully that'll uh, hopefully they fix the problem or they increase the server size. I I would imagine that's what they'd be doing is kind of increasing the uh, the server load on the PA server there. But it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty happening place. So and the the gateway has uh, been super busy too. I've poked my head in and out of that. And of course, for the tutorial videos that I've done on the Entropy Universe main YouTube channel, um, it was just crazy how, how busy it actually was. A lot busier than I thought it was going to be. So, anyway, um, so not much going on uh, with me. I've kind of been hopping back from hell here on Rocktropia to Calypso. I was doing a little Rextelium hunting the other day on that big industries LA that they have there on Calypso, south of Solferis Crater. In fact, there's a TP to it, like, in, in their other LA, in the Nexus, I guess it's, I think they're called Nexus, is that right? The other mob with the olive fills there? Anyway, um, I was hoping to just score something decent to hopefully get on that that uh, that event board that they got running, which is done, I believe, June 14th. So if you guys have not yet tried your hand at hunting, uh, they've got some decent and reasonable LAs, um, and it's probably worth a shot. I grinded through a couple thousand ped, and I only ended up losing 100 ped on Rex, and I thought that was pretty damn good, seeing that I, I didn't have the proper armor. I was wearing Baron Boar with uh, Mark dot four A's and um, pretty much healing through it. Uh, it's really not the proper armor for Rex. And if you go on entropedia.info, you probably won't get too much information on uh, what armor to use. Although I'm imagining uh, that Gremlin would probably be pretty decent uh, with, with a 
something with acid on the plates or, or penetration or whatever fuck damage they do. And I know one of my, one of my social mates uh, uses Jaguar, so. So that's that, but I, I did manage to score a few globals off of them, but I'm kind of bitter at the moment. I, I'm kind of bitter, and I think it's justified, and I think it's just something that an Entropia player goes through. Um, well, I know it is. I mean, I've played this for seven years now. You know, it's it's been a long time. It's been over a year now since my tower, and I've said this in the last four or five videos. I'm gonna say it again, god damn it. Cause where the hell's my loot? Where the hell's my big fat loot? And that's not to say I'm not doing good. Um, in fact I did a withdraw about twenty days twenty twenty, thirty days ago now. Um six hundred bucks. So and I, I plan on doing a video about that. I just once I get the transaction uh, paper, I'll do a video on that. I'm not gonna do it online because I don't know how to block out certain vital information such as account numbers and addresses and all that other shit so but once i get that once that finally processes in fact it's still pending uh through entropia through mind art once that fully processes I'll, I'll do a video on that and how it is possible to actually withdraw money from this game um it's not easy obviously in fact it's very difficult but uh it, it still is very possible to uh to make a little bit of scratch cash um, and then my, my previous withdrawal before that was, uh, I think it was December. So, so we're doing alright. Um, I have been playing a lot less. There's, you know, I've been finishing other games. I finished System Shock 2, which, holy shit, it blew my mind. Uh, when I first played it, I played it for a couple days, and I was just kind of like, oh shit, this is, this is going to be way too difficult, way too complex. And then I, I, I went back to it like a month ago. And I just went balls to the wall, and I'm like, I'm gonna figure this game out. I'm gonna, you know, hopefully get into it. And you know, by the second hour, I was completely enthralled by it. And uh, I knew, you know, it, it has a great history and one of the, I guess, one of the best PC games. Uh, they claim it's probably top ten survival horror game, and I, I would have to agree with that. Although the the horror, uh, the horror part of it doesn't really hold up to today's standards and today's games so uh will we see a system shock 3 probably not it's owned by ea and, and part of the game is owned by an insurance company and, um some people believe that system shock 2 was kind of the jumping point for uh dead space and dead space is essentially system shock 3 now bioshock is the spiritual quote unquote successor to System Shock 2. And I could see where they they pulled some some um, ideas out of System Shock for the Bioshock series. But it's really it's a game that's kinda of, I, I you know, Bioshock to me is a game that stands alone in its own right. And uh, I don't think they should have ever said that it was a spiritual successor. But holy shit, did we go off on a tangent there. We went from Entropia to System Shock to Bioshock to Dead Space. So, anyway, um, <clears throat> I do plan on getting back to Don't Starve, and I do plan on finishing that until we die. Holy shit, look at all the drops. I bet you Eve is in here. Son of a bitch, he's always in here. Um, let's just head on to the north side. I left four because we kind of died out there. I'm happy with what we got so far. We're definitely in profit right now. But uh, I just want to see if we can't pull off one more. Because that would just be fantastic. But, um, yeah, I mean, a little, just a little frustrated that I haven't got anything over, you know, like 1600 since last July. And I've been, you know, I've been playing. I've been playing hardcore. I haven't stopped. So, but whatever, um, there are hops, there are big towers on the board. Oh, that's what I was, that's what I was saying, you know, I slowed down my, my play periods. But at the same time, um, I kind of stopped playing when I'm not making any sort of headway. Or if I'm not breaking even, I, I stopped, so uh, maybe there's, you know, been a change in the system. A few people seem to think that the system has gone back to origin its original state. 
uh, that it was a, a year ago or before these major changes that have occurred that, uh, that kind of lowered the claim sizes, but even them out uh, across the board. Uh, you know, who knows? Um, if you guys have any uh, um, topics that you want me to cover, I will try to cover them. I didn't do a Rextilium video because, let's be honest, I suck at it. And there's nothing more uncomfortable than watching a player suck at something, you know? And I didn't want a bunch of thumbs down and all that other bullshit that, that comes with those types of videos. There was Eve right there. I figured he was fucking in here. Um, so... Uh, yeah, so, I mean, and I'm pretty much going to be stationed here on Rocktropia for a while until things change on other planets. Hopefully Arcadia will make a slight comeback. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, we haven't heard of a content update. I'm imagining that one would come out here in the next two weeks, although I thought that three weeks ago and, and one hasn't hit, hit us yet, but I know we're due for a planet partner update. Um... Uh, speaking of Planet Partners, that has nothing to do with Entropia or Planet Partners whatsoever, but it just popped in mind. If you guys, if anybody is like an EVE online player, and you play Entropia and you play EVE, and you could tell me a bit more about EVE than I already know, and I've played EVE for a year, um, but I'm kind of looking for some video and some like maybe some comparisons uh don't comment don't put it in the comment section just inbox me here on youtube or email me at bigbenesator at gmail.com um, basically what i'm getting at here is i want to do a comparison video since a lot of people i don't think fully understand uh the differences between the two games other than their sci-fi mmorpgs that's the only uh that's <laughs> That's the only likeness of the two games, in my opinion, either. But that's why I want to get a couple more opinions on it. All right, guys, here we are. Let's see how well we did. 245, we did awesome. 20 pet profit, uh, TT, right at the bat. And then we, you know, we're going to get a little bit more with the markup, probably an extra 10 or 20 pet there. Uh, so it was a great, great run. Obviously, that's not the norm, especially with the D class. You need to have a lot of them uh, to really break even. But I do drop a bunch. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.